In this screencast, I'm going to teach you about event handlers. So I've opened up a new workbook here. I'm going to go into the developer tab. Now instead of inserting a module where I put the code, so generally we've been creating a module, but I'm going to show you how you can put code behind this sheet, so sheet one, or this workbook. Typically when you're making subroutines, you want to put your code in a module. But for event handlers, these you're going to want to put your code behind either this workbook or whatever sheet. Um, so I'm just going to go into sheet one, and it opens up sort of this module that's similar to when you insert a normal module. And up here from the drop down menu, I'm going to select worksheet. Now there are all sorts of different options over here. These are called event handlers. So whenever you, before you right click, you can do different things. So uh, let me click on that. And I'm going to put an example here. This is uh, a private sub. So whenever you right click, this is what's going to happen before you activate what's normally activated when you right click. So let me just put in an example here. So I've just put a message box. You just right clicked. So if I go to sheet one and I right click, then it's going to bring up that message box. And then it brings up the normal right click menu. So you wouldn't ordinarily have a reason to do this, but if you, for some reason, you wanted to have an event ha happen, so this is an event when you right click, then you can uh, put the code in there in this private sub. One of the most common is uh, changing a selection. That's why when you bring up the worksheet here, selection uh, pops up because that's kind of the most popular. But I can also put something in here. For example, active cell equals active cell plus one. Now when I go to worksheet one, and by the way, if I had a worksheet two here, if I included worksheet two, these event handlers don't happen to sheet two because I've written it in the code behind sheet one. So now whenever I change a selection, I'm going to add one to that cell, to the active cell. So this is known as an event handler. So let's see what happens if you add an event handler to this workbook. So I'm going to double click on this workbook. From the drop down menu, I'm going to bring up workbook. The most common is an event handler when the workbook is opened. And I'll just put in something like this message box. Welcome to Excel 2016. Did you remember to turn off the stove this morning? I'm going to save this file and I'm going to close it because we can't really see the effect of this uh, workbook open event handler until we open it. I saved this onto my desktop. So now I'm just going to double click event handler example. And when we open this up, it pops up with this message. Welcome to Excel 2016. Did you remember to turn off the stove this morning? I can also put something like this application speech dot speak. Not every version of VBA. I think only the newer ones have this. But I can put in welcome, have a nice day, Charlie. And when I save this and reopen. Welcome. Have a nice day, Charlie. It gives me a nice little welcome message. And just one more example. I could uh, put a message box. Would you like to know the time and date? That's going to be a yes, no. If answer equals six, then we can message box now. And when I save this and close it and reopen, I get the following. And I can then select yes, and it'll output the time and the date. Event handlers are not tremendously useful, but they are really useful when you're providing a spreadsheet or a macro enabled file to a client or a coworker, and you want to sort of have things professionally presented. 